All right, beautiful day for a ride. So, <coughs> The fuel average of this bike is 2.9 litres per 100 kilometres. I have been tracking this economy for 9,185 kilometres. 9,185 kilometres. You cannot tell me that that's not an accurate fuel average over that kind of distance but having just having just replaced the fuel injector it's time to reset which also let's reset trip b2 also resets our fuel average okay now it's currently reading 99.9 .9 liters per 100 k's because we haven't gone anywhere side stands up So today we're going to try and see just what kind of economy I do get. Basically we're just going to have a tootle around. It's already dropped to 4 litres per 100. Basically, I do want to go on a decent big ride today, but I just want to have a toodle around some side streets. We're down to 2.4 litres, 2.3. All right, it's down to 1.8. Now, Honda claims that the fuel average on this bike is as low as 1.5 litres per 100 k's. Realistically, the lowest I've ever seen it is 1.8. But I'm just curious, having just reset the trip meter, there we go, it's down to 1.5 litres per 100. So it is possible If you don't go above 50 k's an hour and you tootle around in fifth all day. Now this has dropped to 1.4. We are currently sitting on a fuel average of 1.3 litres per 100. Can we see that? The only real goal I have is to 
um, keep the economy light on for as long as possible. Alright, fuel average, 1.2 litres per 100 kilometres, technically, I guess, but we've only gone a couple of kilometres. If this is all the riding you ever did, you could absolutely maintain this fuel average. But I did not want to spend my day tootling around at 40 and 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, I want to go out and have a decent ride out and about for a couple of hours. I feel like that's exactly what I want to do today. I've had enough cheesing the fuel average. I want to go out and ride this bike properly. So we'll go out to the, uh, the petrol station, we'll go and top up the tank. And we'll see what our fuel average reads after a spirited ride. Those are cool things. I, I love them, uh, the, the Can-Ams, but in Victoria, they're a stupid, stupid category. They're a three-wheeled vehicle registered as a car that you need a motorcycle license to ride, yet you cannot pass your motorcycle license test assessment while riding one.